This is Otis. Uh, it's a rose hair. A tarantula from Chile. Uh, they live in Chile and surrounding areas in South America. Um, there's about 500 and, or 950 different kinds of tarantulas in the world. And uh, this one's probably the easiest one to take care of. Easiest one to handle. It's an arachnid that's got eight legs. Uh, it's got two body parts, a cephalothorax, which includes the head and the fangs. And it's also got uh, an abdomen. And that includes uh, the book lungs, the, uh, the spinneret tubes, and the spinnerets. It has eight legs. Um, it's got hooks on the ends of its legs. And the body is, is hairy. It's a New World spider. And uh, the body is hairy because that's part of its nervous system. It can detect vibrations. You'll see a, a cricket there in front of the tarantula here in a second. And he's been in there for about a day now. The tarantula doesn't seem to be hungry right now. He just, actually, he just ate. And uh, so he's not real interested in it, but it does, it's, it is aware that it's there. On the top of the head, you can see a little small black bump. That's the eyes. There's about eight eyes there. Although they don't see very well, they depend pretty much just on vibrations. When you set these up, you want maybe a five gallon tank. Uh, don't use cedar, or cedar uh, shavings for a substrate that doesn't do well for uh, most animals like snakes and tarantulas. You want to use maybe uh, um, like like uh, aspen or you could use dirt, uh, peat moss, uh, sphagnum moss, any of that, that type of stuff. And these will burrow. I've got a half log in there, and it does uh, sit in it from time to time. It will take and build a web on the ground, and it's more of a, uh, just a place for, uh, like a welcome mat uh, to sense vibrations when crickets are walking around in there. You also want to put a water source in, and you want to change that daily. And if you put it, you have to put a sponge in there, otherwise the crickets aren't very smart and they'll drown. So you need to wash that sponge, otherwise it's a source of bacteria. As far as keeping them warm, I don't have any source of heat in here at all. I keep uh, where I live about 70 degrees, and uh, the uh, tarantulas seem to do fine. I've got five of them and four snakes, some hissing cockroaches, and some emperor scorpions. They all seem to do fine. I do have a heat mat on the emperor scorpions, and... Um, also on the corn snakes. Other than that, everybody else is just ambient temperature. These eat about once a week. They'll eat uh, up to pinky mice or mice. I, I feed mine pretty much strictly mealworms, super mealworms, and uh, crickets. Um, these don't live well with other other tarantulas. Like uh, there's some like your pink toes that can uh, they'll live with other tarantulas, other pink toes. But these don't. They're uh, pretty much solitary. And the females live for about 30 years. The males live for about 6. So hopefully when you do get a tarantula, it's a male or a female. And usually you can tell because the abdomen will be a lot bigger on a female. These are capable of walking on glass, uh, walking upside down. They're not very fast. There's some that are a lot faster, like... Uh, Oh, your orange baboon is, is really aggressive and really fast. These aren't very aggressive. They like to sit a lot in just one spot. So if you're thinking about a, um, getting a tarantula, this is, this is one of the best ones to get. This one hasn't molted. I've had it for about a year and a half. It hasn't molted yet. Um, but they do that. They'll, they'll go a couple years without molting. It's when they're young that they molt a lot more. So, that's about it for me. Thanks for stopping.